Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Uh, we're continuing our 2016 SHOT Show coverage and we came by the Armor Sight booth here. And guys, I tell you, you know, it, it, it's kind of like walking into the future, okay? Uh, every time you come by the Armor Sight booth, they've always got all kind of random technology that they're just really on the forefront of uh, putting this technology out there. You guys know that we use a lot of their thermal optics uh, in a lot of our hunts and when we do our meltdown videos, anytime you see thermal footage in the meltdown videos, it's always from our Armor Sight Zeus Pro. Um, and to give you a little bit of an idea too, on the Zeus Pro, I've been running that particular optic. I've probably got about 150, 160 hours on it. It's been running really well. I use it about two or three hours every single day. I, I, I call in coyotes and uh, bobcats and foxes and all kind of critters at night, uh, you know, with my call and everything. And I use it all the time. And it's been a solid optic. It, you know, does really, really well. Uh, we've got a, a, a Zeus HD right here. This has got their new 75 millimeter lens. Big, awesome lens. I mean, you're just getting in so much more information, you know, because basically the way these optics work is it transmits the image into a digital version that you're seeing. It's kind of like watching a TV. Okay, so it's taking it and it's converting all of the, the stuff that it's taking in and turning it into something you can see with your eyes. And basically you're like watching a little screen, okay? So there's a lot of technology that goes into these things. The device that I'm holding right here is called the Iris, okay? And this can work with any of the any of their devices that has this port on it right here. It's like a little port. Usually pull like a little rubber cleat off of there. And this is for like your video recorders or extra um, battery backups. Like they make an extended battery that can go on this as well. Uh, so this particular device, you can see here, it's part of the iris system. This one is a wired version. You see there's this wire coming out of the side of the optic. So the basic principle here is that, all right, you've got this on your rifle. All right, the rifle can be in a position up and out of the way and you're out of harm's way and let's say you're a soldier you got this mounted to your you know visor or your helmet or whatever you've got a wire tether that they also make this in a wireless okay but this one is for military specifications which means that they want it wired military kind of frowns upon wireless however i was playing with the wireless one earlier and it's pretty awesome so what the iris does is gives you a mobile image of what the optic is seeing so let's say that I want to point this down range here. Let's say that I've got a soldier here. Say I'm a commander in a truck or uh, whatever. I've got my guy right here and I want to spot. I want to see what he's seeing. So my shooter can see through the optic. He's shooting the gun. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. So my soldier can be doing his job or whoever. Let's say you're hunting, your hunting buddy. Say that I'm on another rifle in the prone or I'm sitting there. I can actually see what he's seeing like right now. I see what he's seeing and I'm watching his back. So see like I've got his six and he's got mine. We've got guns trained. So he can have a witness to what I'm seeing. I can have a witness to what he's seeing and we can watch each other's back literally. If he fires a shot and he misses, I know what my liability is to him for, for being responsible for that. All right, so I can see what he's seeing. So if you look through here, I know it's gonna be hard for Chad to get a shot here, but you know, you're getting a, an image of what he is looking at from a mobile position. So the nice thing about this being wireless is say you were uh, to run something like the Paradigm SRP mobile platform or something, the autonomous platform. Uh, now, <laughs> you combine this thermal technology with this iris setup along with that Paradigm SRP and on their technology, holy crap. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless. Okay, so this is available in wireless and wired, and this is brand new for 2016 from Armisite. I want to show you guys. I know this is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I know this is not exactly something that every single person is, is going to gravitate to and, and may not have a need for, but it certainly has a, a really interesting application, uh, not only for uh, military police use, but civilian use. Say you're a hunter who you just can't miss that critter, you got to find him. You're a predator hunter who takes it really seriously. This is an awesome device. Now, another prototype, and this is very, very prototype. I want to show you this drone that they have. Now, you guys are probably familiar 
With things like the DJI Phantom, uh, we use the Phantom 3 to get a lot of our aerial shots and our videos, and I'm very uh, familiar with this type of drone. I fly it on a regular basis. This is a drone that they, and now I don't know what kind of sorcery is inside of this thing, but they've managed to outfit a thermal camera into the size of a GoPro box. See, the, the big limitation that you have with a drone, okay, is the amount of weight that it can carry. When you start talking about a consumer grade drone, when you're not talking like the, the huge ones, okay, that are like ten, fifteen thousand dollars. When you're talking a drone that's like a, a twelve or thirteen hundred dollar, you know, device or something, okay? You know, you're you're talking something that is kind of gonna be a little bit limited on what kind of weight that it can actually carry on a regular basis. So having a package like this in a small GoPro weight package and have a thermal, it's just amazing. So you can fly this drone and you got a thermal readout on your controller, which is awesome. So you can certainly see the implications for this for many, many different reasons. So, I mean, one reason that I can think of directly for my needs is reconnaissance for finding animals. Say I'm trying to find a, a, a herd of pigs that I want to go kill, or I want to try to find out a coyote den without actually getting in the, you know, in the woods and looking for it. I can fly this thing around and the animals cannot hide from me. They have nowhere to hide. You know, I can see deer activity. I can, uh, you know, check out deer activity on my property, see what they're up to. I can see what the coyotes are up to, pretty much, or any unsavory two-legged game that I need to deal with, I can see what they're up to as well. So the implications for this type of technology, I believe, are very real and very awesome because, you know, if, if you're a civilian or military alike and you want to, you know, defend your your area, you want to, you know, make sure people aren't messing around with your house, or let's say you're a landowner and you got a huge piece of property, you know, these things have an amazing range on them. You know, I can fly a drone, you know, a quarter mile away with a good clear line of sight, and with this technology, I can see who's on my property. They have no way to hide. Now, think about this also from a standpoint of law enforcement use. Okay, you got some drug dealer that's hiding somewhere, you're trying to find him, or, or whatever. You're tracking a guy, all right? You know he's out there, you're trying to find him. He can't hide from you. You cannot hide from a thermal. Also, search and rescue. Man, the search and rescue guys are gonna eat this up because th this will save lives. Something like this is awesome because if I've got a thermal in the sky and I'm trying to find a guy who's, who's lost uh, you know, out in the ocean or anything like that, any bit of heat signature that this drone can pick up is gonna save lives. It's gonna allow those search and rescue personnel to locate people and save their life. I mean, if somebody's lost out in the woods, guess what? This thing right here, you're good to go. So this is something that allows someone on the ground. You don't have to have a helicopter. You can put this thing in the air and, and, this, and devices like this are gonna save lives. So I've always been a big advocate for thermal technology and you know, Armasite is a great bunch of guys. We've been running a lot of their optics and everything and uh, it, it's just thermals are awesome because they, they have so many different applications Good and bad, I will say. I mean, now, granted, there are some unsavory things that can be done with thermals, and I know there's been probably a lot of people that have kind of frowned upon the use of drones in general, but especially when you start getting the thermal involved, some people are concerned about privacy and people spying on each other and stuff like that. There has been concerns about that, but it's one of those things, that I, I think the, the good the good points about it definitely outweigh the negative points, both with thermal uh, rifle optics, night vision rifle optics, uh, thermal devices such as this that allow you to get an eye in the sky where nothing can hide from you. I think the good points definitely outweigh the bad. So uh, we wanted to show these off because they were just so neat. One of those things you come by, you, you, you kind of have to look at it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. We've got much more SHOT Show coverage on the way. Uh, we're trying to show off as much cool stuff as we possibly can. So uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook. Facebook. If there's something that is new coming out this year that you want to see, go on there and let us know and we'll try to accommodate it. So uh, thanks for watching. Much more SHOT Show coverage on the way. We'll see you.